creates not only a frenzy of traffic and a frenzy of people coming to your site, but also what creates real sustainable customers and people actually not just coming to for the shock value of going and seeing if something's a scam or not because they saw a headline is XYZ a scam, but actually being intrigued by the content. So tell me the process. Uh, talk a little bit about that, man. How when you first got started, you didn't obviously have a very big tech budget. What did you do when you very first got started to start generating and getting your first set of eyeballs on on your site? Well, let me let me go back to concepts here, and I'm going to answer this maybe a little bit different than than, than you think. Um, I what I want to talk about is I want to talk about how all of you should be thinking. Okay, uh, and and how people think who who have businesses that really uh, uh, they last for a long time, and they they're constantly growing their list and their exposure. When I got started online, here's what I knew: I knew that the key that unlocks uh, your business, as far as free stuff goes, anyways, is credibility. It's uh, when people look at you, being able to overcome. The unconscious barriers and filtrations to purchasing. You know, when when I, when I got involved in network marketing, I had a big problem. And the problem was I was broke and I was poor. Back in you know 2002, I had a car that was like a $500 car. This is like way before the van story. I got involved in an old school company going around showing the plan five days a week, uh, dressing in a suit, hitting people up in WalMarts and stuff like that. Well, the, the problem was is legitimately and honestly, you could just look at me and you could know that I was struggling. Well, I, I kind of floundered around in my business for a handful of years until uh, one day I was listening to an audio training and it was talking about uh, the key to unlocking the ability to move and influence people actually comes from social proof. And all social proof really is is it's uh, uh, really legitimately it's being able to make it look like uh, you're a person that's surrounded by successful, attractive people, right? Uh, and what I did, and this is back in 2006, 2007, and this is going to go into combat, uh, concepts that are feeding into traffic uh, on, on how to really, 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 really start moving people, not just bringing people to visit a site and how to do it for free. Um, but uh, what I started doing, and this is, this is uh, you know, in 2006, 2007, was I realized that if 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 I'm struggling, it doesn't really matter. What matters is the image that's created by who's standing close to me. If I'm constantly around people that are successful, that have money, that are creating results, then when people look at me, there's no conscious uh, or unconscious filtration where they say, I shouldn't listen to this person. Uh, it's overcome. It's kind of like the uh, best way to explain this is that if you if you uh, if you walk into like a bar at night, right, which is like the ultimate uh, modern version of a tribalistic value system, right? But if you go into a bar at night, uh, if you look in the room, you're going to see uh, groups of people uh, and a, a group of people in 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 a nightclub in a bar or something like that. There's always going to be somebody who's it who's got an alpha friendly with 